What's up guys? Welcome back to one more video. So in this video guys, I'll be working on that Camaro right behind me. Let me show you the things we're gonna be doing to it. Uh, if you've been following the channel, I don't think I have this car and the YouTube channel, but uh, we built this motor, um, I wanna say more than a year ago, um, around there. And so what happened is uh, one of the lifters gave out, so it messed up the cam. So it has a stage three right now. And we're gonna put a stage four and then, then some other little upgrades too on it. So let me show you what we're gonna be installing on this one. So these are the parts that the customer brought to me. This is the cam. As you can see, it was it had a lifter noise. So when I took it all apart, um, let me show you guys the lobe that has damage. There's two lobes that have damage. This one, see, I never seen it like that. Let's see, it's kind of like. I don't know, it's just, uh, it's a weird shape. I've never seen one like that. And then here's the other one over here. So there's two lobes and then of course the lifters. We're gonna be adding this one. This is from uh, Granite Fetty, I think. Yeah, Granite Fetty or something like that. Uh, throttle body. This is a 105, I think it is, or 102. Uh, heater wraps. And then uh, new push rod, those are gonna be 7.4 and then 80,000 is on the wall. This is stage four BTR and it's the, uh, I think it's the version two. Uh, those are the specs right here. So it's gonna be choppy for sure. And then of course we're gonna upgrade the original bolts to ARP bolts. And uh, I had installed that Intel when I built the motor. So he wants to paint match the bottom piece. So I'm gonna do that too for him. And this is the way we have the car right now. As you can tell we uh, remove the heads, the lifters, cam, and uh, basically we're gonna leave the same oil pump because that's a high pressure oil pump. And uh, this is a build motor, guys. This is, uh, it's got a Texas speed and performance uh, bottom end. It's a kit they sell. This is what this car has. And then of course you gotta upgrade a few rails Stock injectors, stock and, uh, it's got RH heads, as you can see, those are upgraded heads too. It's the Camaro guys, this thing is nice, look at that. It's so, a 105. So that's what we're gonna be doing, guys. I'm gonna probably put a time-lapse video, maybe, uh, when we install in the heads, not, cause I, I'm, I'm gonna remove the oil pan right now, and then the headers, so I can start wrapping them. And maybe install the cam and the lifters. I have the new lifters. Uh, somewhere in the car in there but um, yeah if you want to follow the guy there's this uh, Instagram right there and you'll see all the pictures of the car man it's really nice and um, I remember I did the cutout for him on the hood everybody loved that cutout right there I even painted it for him too um, I had to cut all this section right here I had to cut it uh, he only has one wiper because this one when it goes that way it hits the intake So you can only have one wiper working you can tell right there it's marks uh, But that's because I installed a high ram intake. So if you're into Camaros You want to follow this video you're more than welcome and sorry about uh, the videos on the smart car guys If you're following me because of the smart car I've been so busy with uh, this cars right here I went to pick up this car and uh clean Texas so I have to get the trailer go pick it up bring it back so it took me basically the whole day have you ever been to Austin Texas you know how the traffic is cameras installed timing chain, the sprocket. You don't have to, if you do this yourself, guys, you don't have to remove your timing guides or anything like that, or your oil pump to reinstall this. Pretty simple, just start with this side, make sure that goes in, and then just work your way out with the timing chain, and it'll go in. And just make sure you set up on time. And if you don't, just spin the cam with the chain in place. Other than that, I have the Skittles right here. I have the Skittles already in oil. See right there. I'm gonna live and pour a little bit more. And then uh, we also started wrapping the headers. Look at that. This, this looks awesome. 
But we started doing this. Um, I guess to go with the with the the car. I mean, it's a nice color. I would prefer maybe a red or I don't know blue. But it's not my car, so can't decide. Maybe maybe that gold. But as you can see, they look way different. And then uh, other than that, I mean, he wants to paint match the bottom, like you said, and uh, then reinstall that, that new one, those new uh, push rods and the little lifter trays. All this is gonna be brand new. We also installed the solid motor mounts already. You see right there. Those are installed. I don't know if they're a little bit lower or not, but to me, they look about the same. So that is installed. And then uh, we're gonna put it all back together. Initially, I wanted to remove, I wanted to remove the oil pan, but I was like, no, I think I could do everything without removing the oil pan. And yeah, I mean, you can see right here. It's not, it's not hard at all to install that timing chain with the oil pump in place. That so we have to mess with the O-ring or, you know, on, uh, uh, some LSs you have to buy the little tool to set up your oil pump and this one's working so, great. So let me continue with the work and I'll be showing you the step, you know, the steps that I've been doing. And um, uh, I know that when you install ARP bolts or studs, the torque is different. I do like that better because it's in, in uh, foot pounds instead of degrees, you know, because when it's in the car, it depends has to torque the ones on the back with the angle gauge. So I do like the foot pounds better on the new ARP bolts. That's a, that's a nice option. They do that now, which is like I said, way better to uh, torque them to specs. what's up guys good morning welcome back to the same video i just want to show you what i've done so far um actually what we've done so far because my dad is helping me uh on the camaro okay and well also what i did myself last night so let me show you so as you can see install the timing cover back on sit on their heads the valley cover and then the headers and those headers look awesome they look nice. We're about to install the new push rods uh, because uh, I was looking at the old ones. Look at all this, guys. They, they're all beat up. Look at that. Look at that one. Look at what I did last night. I uh, painted the painted the, the whole intake basically. I just paint match it to the existing color, but. Uh, I told the customer, I'm gonna do some changes to it, and that's the change that I did. Uh, Cause he had it all orange, or it's like red, but it looks like orange on the camera. All right, so we're about to uh, assemble the final, final parts of the car, which is the cover for the wipers motor and the little bar that goes across here. Damn, that Inter looks nice in there. I wasn't sure about that orange, red looking thing, but it looks nice, it looks cool. Um, the throttle body, he's gonna have to get another clamp just like this one, uh, because the, the one it had before, it didn't fit. This one was here, now we need another one of those. Um, the 117 clamp. But other than that, it's looking great. We're about to start it, I already checked the oil. I have to add the cool line. The oil, it's full, you know, we didn't drain the oil, so it should be fine, you know, it's just a matter of double checking, but uh, everything, 
looks okay. I was planning to make him part two, but now I'm gonna just make a one part for this one. So I'll let you guys see the whole thing and then how it sounds after. I drove it around. I, uh, I was having problems with the throttle body, the new one that I just installed, uh, with the relearning process. Uh, but it looks like I finally got it. So if not, the tune is gonna have to deal with it. But I already told the customer, look, it's having problems. I did it three times. They don't want to work. Um, they don't want to learn the, the throttle body. So that's 
that has to be done with a, of course, uh, uh, somebody that knows how to mess with all, the, all those numbers. And oh, I also fixed uh, that little seal right there was rubbing against the ink tick. I didn't think about cutting that seal right there, the vault seal, but it was rubbing against that ink tick, so it won't do it anymore, thank God. Uh, that's one of the other things I took care of, uh, you know, uh, uh, for him, so. Let's go ahead and close the hood and call it a night.